Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about uh, S3 lifecycle rules. Uh, in the last video, we were talking about the storage classes. So the storage classes and lifecycle uh, rules goes hand in hand. Um, so let's talk on that part. So the first thing is, um, yes, look for the S3. Go to the service S3 and then I'm going to click on create bucket for this. And I'm going to give some name life cycle demo and some year and i'm going to create this in uh, us east one okay now scroll down um so i'm going to keep it as acl disable because i'm going to use the bucket ownership uh, and then scroll down and then click on create bucket if you guys want to know more on this i think you can always uh, refer to my previous videos now I have created a demo called lifecycle demo Samir bucket okay now clicking on it so when you click on this now here we do not have any kind of objects now what do you mean by lifecycle rule lifecycle rule is nothing but as I've explained in the previous we have storage classes we have these many storage classes standard intelligent tiering infrequent access one zone glacier blah 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 okay now what exactly lifecycle rule does is say for example if you want automatically move your stand object from s3 standard to intelligent i mean uh, in infrequent access or if you want to move from infrequent access to one zone or if you want to move it to glacier or you want to move it to a you know flexible and then you want to move it this one we can do it using the lifecycle rules so in order to give a quick uh, you know diagram on this uh, we will just do a quick diagram on this <coughs> so let's do this way now for example um, let me uh, yeah so what we can do here is uh, let me draw uh, you know the storage classes whatever uh, uh, we have done it say for example uh, let me do it like this uh, this is uh, s3 standard okay i'm just giving like this and then uh, this is uh, uh you know standard uh, say infrequent access okay and then we have something called uh, intelligent tiering okay and then we have uh, one minute let me check what else we have uh standard standard actually okay next one is we have one zone in frequent access okay one zone uh in frequent access then the next one we have is uh we have three glaciers okay which i remember yeah so instant retrieval a glacier so let's do it here so glacier you know instance retrieval okay then we have uh, flexible retrieval okay so yeah flexible retrieval let me just give me a minute let me make it big yeah okay so this one glacier instance retrieval and then flexible retrieval yeah so here we go glacier flexible retrieval and the last but not the least we have glacier deep archive yeah so glacier deep archive okay so i'm sorry for the uh, diagram i hope you can understand yes okay perfect now what are the life cycle rules does is say for example uh, in the standard there is an object in the standard and you want to move it to uh, you know some other you want to move it to uh, infrequent access or uh, 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 you know intelligent tiering or one zone infrequent or glacier we can do that so just to give a map on that what we can do here is uh, say for example you have a standard here and you want to move it you can move it to infrequent access also or you can move it to intelligent tiering as well or you can move it to you know one zone or you can move it to glacier or you can move it to glacier uh, you know instance and then flexible and also you can move it to glacier deep archive so we can do like this as well 
and also the same thing say for example if you want to move it to uh, this if you want to move it to, uh, from standard in frequent access you want to move it to intelligent tearing one zone glacier another glacier we can do like this as well so likewise we can do various life cycle tools from one storage classes to another storage classes okay so <clears throat> that's all it for this life cycle uh, concepts now let me go back to the demo quickly just give me a minute yeah cool now i had created a bucket already say for example i'm clicking on upload and uh, i'm clicking on add files and i'm going to add one file here say i'm going to add this bmw and scroll down and then now if uh, now if you click on properties uh, if you see the properties the standard is the default storage class okay unless you want to make something specific you can come and change the properties but i don't want to do that so i am going to go with the default which is standard and i'm hitting on upload button now this storage uh, the file which is bmw it is there as a standard storage classes okay so now if you hit on close so you will say see the bmw file is a standard storage class now if you now we are going to apply the life cycle rule okay now how do you check where do you check click on the management tab and then the first one which is life cycle rules now if you see the definition of the life cycle use life cycle rules to define actions you want amazon s3 to take during on objects lifetime such as transi transitioning objects to another storage class or archiving them or deleting them after a specific period of time Okay, now click on create life cycle rule. The first one, I'm going to give some name. Okay, first and see rule, something like this. Okay, now the second one is what is the rule scope? Do you want to apply to all the objects in the bucket or you want to specifically filter something? You want to specify some file name or file prefix so for example you can if if you have something like the img and then if you put star it means img is a folder and inside this folder you are going to apply all the objects something like this or if you want apply all objects in the bucket you can go with this option and you have to i acknowledge the disclaimer okay now scroll down now what is action okay this is very important yeah now if you see right now we have only two sections one is life cycle rule actions and the other one is a review transition and expiration actions okay now if you check the first box move current versions of object so you will get some extra options coming up down here so if you uncheck this okay you don't get any extra options but if you check the first one, what is the first one? Move current version of objects between storage classes. Okay. Now, when I say current versions, which means the latest version of the object. Okay. Now, if you click on this, the second option is getting enabled. What is this? Transition current version of objects between storage classes. Now, currently my objects are in standard. Yeah now if you click on choose storage class things here if you see standard in frequent access so what it says is okay i'm going back to my whiteboard so what i'm doing here is okay what i'm doing here is currently i'm in standard i'm moving into infrequent access after some days so the definition it says like this see infrequently access data once a month with mill 30 milli with milliseconds access which we have seen yes the last video and 30 days minimum storage duration so click on it and then days after object creation so number of days so after 30 days example okay i'm moving my objects from standard into standard infrequent access okay now if you 
if you see this down below here it says see this current version options day 0 object uploaded after exactly on day 30 it will be moved to standard infrequent access this is the current version actions now if you change the date to 6 day you will get day 60 objects moved to standard infrequent access okay so this is how we have to create the life cycle rule so say for example this one i want to create it okay so if you click on create rule the rule will get created and today i have uh, one is the day uh, today is sixth right okay uh, sixth of uh, may and exactly uh, after 60 days the this one this particular whatever image the bmw image which right now in standard this will autom automatically move into standard infrequent access so that is what the demo is all about okay if you go to the management you will see the your rule is there see transition to standard infrequent access okay now you, if you click on view lifecycle configuration you can see that as well click on this and then click on edit if you want to edit it you can edit it and then if you scroll down yeah now if you want to add one more say for example i want to add another transition to this lifecycle rule so click on add transition and then here okay you have chosen standard infrequent access already now say for example i want to go to one zone infrequent access so if you click on one zone infrequent access okay so you can make it for example i want to make it like 150 days after 150 days of object creation i want to move it to one zone infrequent if you scroll down see this again you got an extra image here exactly on day 150 objects will be moved to one zone infrequent. So if you click on save, okay, and then you have to click on I acknowledge here again, scroll down, and then click on save. See, it will be transitioned to standard infrequent access first, and then it will be transitioned to one zone infrequent access based on the days. Okay, now if you want to edit one more, okay, click on edit, and then if you scroll down, and then if you click on add transition okay say for example after one zone you want to move it to glacier flexible retrieval so click on this and then just give some names days for example uh, you can give for you know whatever days you feel like okay but there are some days you know which you cannot for example you cannot give like this you know after 160 here if you do that it'll it will throw an error see this if you if you do if you do that see see the difference between this one and this one it's just only 10 days 150 and 160 10 days it will give an error see see this what does it say that integer value for glacier retrieval must be at least 30 more than the value of one zone so 150 you have to add 60 30 days more so for example i'm giving 200 here so if you scroll down and then if you click on save okay you have to I acknowledge it on the top okay now scroll down and then click on save that's it so likewise you can create multiple uh, things here now click on create lifecycle rule one more time it's a new one okay so my second lifecycle rule and then I'm going to click apply to all objects I acknowledge and then uh, say for example this time I am going to uh, expire it expire means you know um, uh, you, you, the current version will not be available uh, okay and the th second option is move the non current version of objects between storage classes that is also possible so in the in in the last life cycle rule we have we have choose the first option which is move the current version but if you want to move non current version that is also possible okay and if you want to expire current version whatever checkboxes which you will check it will keep on adding it down below see this see the difference here okay and if you want to permanently delete non-current you can do that delete expire object you can do that so these are all the configurations which you can do and then we can click on create rule so that will for example now if i if i'm if i'm choosing the first two move current move non-current just see this on the right side you will get the arrow mark here and here as well okay so here you will get transition current version of objects and transition non current version of objects so this is the concept of versioning which i explained about in the previous videos so likewise you can create rules 
and you can make sure that your objects are moved from one storage class to another storage classes and you can reduce the cost and you can disable the rule as well okay so if you click on disable rule okay once the rule is disabled then you can delete it so that is the procedure of the life cycle it is very easy uh, but whenever you are architecting the uh, objects then you should know about the pricing when to move what to move what kind of images you need to move you have to have a good uh, hands i mean knowledge on that okay thank you guys